Word of warning, this video presentation might have a little content that may not be suitable for children. May have some video game violence and maybe one or two uh, coarse language here and there. Viewer discretion is advised. What'd you expect? GameStop? Hey, JChub72 here coming at you at Tekken Gamer in Grove City, Ohio. This is where I'm going to be taking the Atari VCS to get a little bit of a second opinion review. Sit back and enjoy. The Atari VCS. Yep. Uh, the hero of the end. Look at it, and I've heard a lot of good things about it, but uh, at this point, I don't know a lot yet. But we're gonna take a look at it and see what all it, you can do with it. Okay. Hopefully, figure out some ways to mod it and add more stuff to it. Uh, hopefully, in, inexpensively. And I see you got the two. You got the Pro controller. Uh, that's nice to have the Pro controller. Mm -hmm. And we've also got the Classic controller. So we can play the classic games, like the original Atari games. Pretty interesting. But yeah, we'll take a look at it and we'll review it and see what it's got to offer. All right. Yes. And we'll be uh, seeing you later on to give yes. your give your thoughts on it. That, that will be awesome. All right. All right. So, I'd like to introduce your name. Uh, my name is George uh, with Tech and Gamer. All right. And we are going to review it and uh, give you our opinion of it. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you in the uh, coming days. VCS is left with uh, George at Tekken Gamer. I wanted a second opinion from him. I'm going to see what all we know. And besides, it's always good to support your local business. Now we're talking my language. Yep. There we go, the asteroids there. Uh -huh. Asteroids. I mean, it seems to have a pretty strong operating system on it. Well, I was told it was a Linux system, so. And this is the guest account, so we're saying the dashboard. Uh -huh. I guess you got VCS Vault. VCS Vault. Yeah. So, uh, I guess uh, you can do a few rounds of VCS Vault and. I can sign into my account so you can do like uh, the missile command and stuff on that. Get some initial thoughts there, so. Yeah, now this game, this game never came out for Atari 2600. No, it didn't. They but had a prototype, but. That's a, uh, that is the 2600 version. I played it. Did you play that? Yeah, I did once or twice. It, 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 well, here, let's go into it. It's got the 2600 version of that game. Ah, ah, so. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, never mind, hold on. Yeah, the center of the stick serves as a paddle controller. Yeah. But you can tell it's, you know, it's, it's not the arcade, it's the 2600 graphics. Yeah, the, yeah, the. Which that's pretty cool. I wish I had this game. For my 2600 you know It'd be kind of cool to have it it would be but i bet this has got the arcade version of this too it? it does yes okay let's get back out of this okay. amazing okay exit to dashboard uh the uh, symbol uh indicates back to the dashboard well now you're back in the vault again so I'd say the three uh, buttons there when uh, the screen pops up mm -hmm. uh, on the controller stick, yeah. you know, the three dashes. Yeah. I'd say that's the one where you change the formats uh, from like the home games to joyce to uh, arcade. Okay. Okay. So, so the, right over here on the left? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Um, uh, it's next, you know, it should be the buttons next, uh, next to the big Atari symbol. Yeah. 
Uh, tried the. Uh, do you want to quit this game? Uh, no. So, uh, try try the three dash the three dashes on the right. So, well, I think right now you're in super baseball. So. Yeah. So we need to go back to mm. like. Uh, yeah. Tempest, because there was an arcade version of that. Yeah. A lot of these. Yeah. Uh, the here. yeah the button next to the symbol, uh, the center symbol, the Atari button. Yeah. Try that one. Okay. This one. Yeah. Loading. Oh wait, no, that's real sports football. Yeah. That's yeah. We I think we got to get on the game first. Uh, quad run. So mm. an arcade game. Melody. Okay. Maybe that. That's an arcade game. Yep. So hit that. No, actually, you're on the ma you're on the manuals, so I think okay. you switched that over to manual. Right, so. so, yeah, you're you kind of got the missing switch to manuals. Uh, try uh, okay. I think try setting it. On try the three dish. There we go. Play. All right. There we go. Play. No, I want to play. Yeah. Okay, I'm on play. Hold on. There's play. The spider. Did it? Mm-hmm. Amazing. I was trying to go in and check out their store to see what games were on there. Mm -hmm. To get an idea of what other like mainstream new games they have. Oops. Okay. Well, when we're finished with this, we'll log into, we'll get into my account, so. Okay, let's do that. Okay. All right, so. Okay. No, you right. keep it on the TV? Keep it on the TV, yeah. Right. Okay. I've got VCS Vault, uh, Antstream Arcade, I've got a 30-day trial. Air console, you have to make use of with your phone. Okay. Missile Command Recharge, it works better with the uh, main controller, I found. The Atari VCS Companion. Uh, -huh. uh you're probably you're gonna need to download an app uh for your phone or possibly for a tablet to make that work it turns your phone into a, or your tablet into a wireless controller we can also make use of keyboard functions oh okay that's pretty cool and it also has a pc mode for that we'll go back into the vault okay. also no it's pretty pretty nice you can stream your netflix your hulu all your other stuff on there too Yep. Okay, going into the. Let's see. All right, back to the VCS Vault. Yeah, they have VCS Vault too, but that's a five dollar purchase. So we're gonna see. No. Uh. No. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I guess the wrong button. Come on, get back in there. All right. Let's... Pardon for a sec. We're going to switch over to the arcades. Okay, or look to. Uh, no. So let's see. Uh, no. So, I wonder see. what's on options on the right hand side where it says play good options. All right, that's okay. our controls. What about game? Go into game, second one down. Maybe that gives you the option of arcade. No, it doesn't. No, flicker, or it's just there. a matter of a uh, okay. Uh, no, it'd be nice if you could get to that. There we are, it's the X button. The X button. Yep. 
Okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna switch to Millipede, to okay. Millipede. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, I'll okay. take this and. All right, now we got some arcade up. action here. Okay. All right. So let's hit start. Okay, I guess it's got to oh. Oh, you can't use the the D-pad for this. You have to use the analog. I guess so, yeah. Because I was trying to switch to the D-pad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the joystick I find is more reliable for the retro games, but for the uh, but there's one or two that I find that the joystick uh, is a little temperamental on your the uh, the main controllers. Uh, I'd say your better bet, but still the joystick is good to have, especially with uh, the old classic retro stuff. Retro, awesome. Yeah, it seems to feel, the controller feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Ah, you got it. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. I've played this game. I used to play it at Giuseppe's Pizza over here in Grove City. I think they got rid of it though. Crazy. Uh, the keeper high scores probably does. Yeah, looks like somebody. Did you get eighty nine thousand? Mm, no, but I don't think so. That must be just the built in one. BBM. Oh, okay, so it keeps all your high scores. That's pretty neat. Cool. That's pretty neat. So now to get out of this. Uh, hit the X button again, no. Try the back button. Uh, well, I actually reset main menu, so I guess you go to main menu. And you try another uh, yeah. arcade classic. Uh, Lunar Lander, I remember that one. What is that? Liberator, that's... Uh, I don't remember that one. Well, we'll try it. Like a flying space game? Yeah, it's uh, the short-lived Atari Force series. Uh, Martin Champion and the Atari Force. We had five issues uh, in with the select cartridges, and DC uh, had like I think a um, small little run. Get these guys coming off the world here. Like missile command almost. Uh, almost. I think you're more or less like ah. um, in orbit space or something yeah, like it's that. It's like missile, you gotta protect your ships, and I just lost two of them. I didn't know, three of them. Black Widow. Or Black Widow. Press left stick and start the begin. 
Push left naked, press start. Okay, so. Jeez. Gosh. It's hard. I guess the dollar signs of money, huh? Would have thought of money in the spider web. Jeez. Amazing. Okay. You want to try a different one? Amen. Asteroids Deluxe. Amazing. Asteroids Deluxe. Let's reset. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, different assortment. Okay, do I need to update it or? Yeah, go ahead and click update. Let's say. Ever it's it's got a games library and, and some you probably haven't even heard of. So. Amazing. Okay, it's a, it's, I guess it says A for select. Is the A button pressed? Uh, I think it's still downloading up there on the top. Ah. So I didn't want to stop it while it's doing that. Okay. You never want to stop it until it's done. Oh. I'm doing an update with that. Just okay. Is it connected to the Wi Fi or anything? Yeah. Like oh, all right, good. Yeah. Installing the Instream Mark 8. Okay, launch. There we go. All right. I guess you got a few new titles on. Yeah, and it just updated. So. Uh, yep. You get some gems uh, coming in with just for coming in. Oh, okay. So you get to play all of these. All of them. Yep. That's cool. Defender, yep. Mortal Combat, Bubble Bobble. Yeah. There's a. Bad I'd say there's a fee. I think there's like a fee involved for like. A, Probably for the year, it's like sixty-nine dollars or something like that. Oh, okay. That's you got to cool. determine if it's uh, worth your time oh, or not. Play metal slug. Loading. Okay. Okay. So insert coin. What? Yeah, it's got more than shooters on this. It's also got role players. It's got a few home games. I've even seen a few text adventures down at the bottom on this one. Wow. And some of them you probably haven't even heard of.
Danger. Cool. All right, Justin, right, you got a top menu up there. Just go to highlight the uh, Anstream Center, the uh, square, that's Atari. Uh, the other white one, yeah, just press that one. That'll take you back yeah. to the menu. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Super Pac Man, Pac Mania, Joe and Matt. That was quite a nice selection of them. Deep Dove 2, Bowl Bobble, Gallagher. Burger time. Yeah, I played that one a few times. He's got some driving games, platformers, beat em ups, racing, platformers. sports, flight sims, and some pinballs. Oh, yeah, this is cool. I like having all the pinball games, too. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Action, shooting, fighting, puzzle, maze, strategy, role players, and text adventures at the bottom. You don't see those anymore. Yeah, no. Oh, this is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. It is nice. Quite a bit of selection. It still keeps going too. Uh, does have an does have something of an end, but I guess it also constantly updates. Pretty cool console. Right. Now he's got to figure out how to uh, modify it. Okay, you you seen the gameplay, and you're still uh, figuring out. Yeah, it's pretty neat. One. Pretty uh, neat system here. Okay, it's just uh, looking at new ways to mod it. It's, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Controller feels good. Uh, system seems pretty nice. Uh, I like that you can stream all your movies and stuff, and you can uh, get all those arcade games when you sign up for the, the Atari VCS Companion. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Yeah, well, uh, really, uh, there are a few um, videos out there that tell you how to, uh, that are exploring modding, so those might be worth a look see. Well, it just came out, so it probably, you know, probably takes a, a couple months for people to, to learn how everything works on it. Yeah. And well, how to get through all the securities and things like that. Yeah, because I think we're still a little early about uh, getting into mods, because we don't know how they'll, how fussy they'll be with mods, much like uh, Nintendo. 
because uh, it's like with Nintendo, it's like if you uh, modded their consoles and you connected with them online, then they would pretty much uh, not take it well. How do you turn it off? Uh, you scroll off, scroll over to the side, uh, right where right where my name's highlighted, the menu. Oh, okay, over there. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, okay. I see. Okay, and power just it power it down, and then you want to make sure, and then uh, just scroll over to turn off. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yep. Any recommendations you could uh, probably give for it? Uh, well, still kind of learning about it, but it seems like a nice setup, you know, for the, the initial price. It seems like a nice setup. All right. Yes. Well, one uh, recommendation I forgot to mention uh, in my last video, I think uh, I'd like to see an Activision app for it. Because yeah, Activision's I mean, just as much a uh, part of Atari's history as uh, Atari itself. Yeah. And they've already acquired the uh, Magic, uh, well, they've acquired the Magic titles for quite some time. They're all under right. the Activision logo. Yeah. Uh, VCS Vault 2, it has a, uh, which you have to pay for, that has uh, some 5,200 games. It also has a few homebrew downloads on it. And also got has a few M Network titles on it. Nice. So that's on Very my nice. uh, to purchase list. So. Very nice. So right now it's still uh, something uh, something we're learning and. And I'm sure they'll add a lot of stuff as we go along. You know, it just came out, so yeah. I'm sure they'll probably put a lot of that stuff on there. Well, here's hoping. Yeah. So pretty good. Uh, tested out the gameplay. Yeah. And probably not a whole lot that needs modded on it right now. Uh, no, I'm sure there'll be a lot of new things you'll be able to do once people figure everything out. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess that's uh, all I needed. Just want yep. just say to bring it to some pros and get a second opinion on it. Right on. All right. Anything you'd like to say about your store? Um, uh, no. I'd come on out. We got a little bit of everything. Great prices. Uh, we're in Grove City, Tech and Gamer. Come on down. We're also one of the biggest repair dealers in Ohio. We repair just about everything video game related. All right, yes. hey, all right. Uh, let me get a snapshot of your card. Uh, yeah. Saved out Facebook yeah. or Twitter. I took a snapshot of the store uh, two days ago, so. Okay. There's the information for a Tekken yeah. gamer. Anyone wants to stop by, come on down. Well, that was the second opinion. Uh, Tekken Gamer, I trust these guys. Yeah, he liked it well enough and played with the guest account. Uh, far as you can tell, it's a little too new to know to see about any improvements or anything for like a new version or anything like that. But you got into Antstream Arcade and well, in the guest account, well, you get uh, Atari VCS Volume 1. And he had a good amount of fun with that. But I also stand by saying that there needs to be an Activision app. Well, off to the uh, editing block in post part 2. I will be looking to make contact with COG to do a uh, live... Uh, presentation at the end of the month. Keep your eyes open for that. JChub72. Well, actually, I think I'll also be uh, looking to see about the VCS companion, seeing if I can arrange some kind of experimentation view on that as well. And maybe even dabbling with a keyboard or something like that. But I do think that Atari needs to come out with a um, keyboard of its own. Keep up with the accessories. And now, JChub72, signing off. <laughs>